You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and today I showed you an item from 1959, and this item here from 1939. 20 years apart, but both toys, but this one is actually a game from Parker Brothers called Contact. You can see the trademark patents pending, copyright 1939 Parker Brothers. A fascinating game. Two to seven can play. Not much more to it on the box, but it does have that really old Parker Brothers logo, which is pretty neat. So let me open up the box and I'll show you what's in there. Fortunately, when I found it, it had the original rule book in there. And this is also dated 1939. And it goes over all the different rules for this game. But there's the game pieces. Take a look at those. Pretty interesting, huh? So I could at least show you how it's played. It's pretty interesting. And there's other little games in there. So let me just take these out. And they're like a particle board tile piece cut in these triangular shapes. And they all have different numbers on them. Now the triple colors are the same. And you would guess now thinking, mm, okay, so it's, I guess you would think of it's almost like a Domino's, but it's not a Domino's because the colors are important. And I'll show you why. Now, to start the game, well, now you've seen all the tiles. Pretty cool, colorful. You turn them all upside down. So that's how we'll start it here. I'll have to refresh my memory on this. But I will show you the rules here real quick, just so you can read them for yourself and get a better understanding. I mean, I can show you the game, but it always seems like until you play it a few times with people, sometimes more than two, three, or four, you kind of get different scenarios or questions in a game like this. Okay, so that's how I remember it. Let's just go over the rules real quick. I'll open the booklet so you can read them along. Here we go. It's a game played with 36 triangular pieces. The three sides of each triangle are different in color, and each side has a number printed at its edge. These numbers run from 1 to 10 and are scientifically arranged at the edge of the triangle so that they may be matched with each other. Okay. Or add it together to form the scoring combinations in the game. Players try by matching color and number, or matching color and making certain scoring totals, to play all the triangles from their hands and to make as large a score as possible. The player who plays all his triangles first receives full, his full score, while those who hold triangles at the end of the hand suffer penalties. Preparation. Start the game. Take all the tiles from the box and place them face down, which I did. Mix them up. Now, they were pretty mixed up, but I'll do it anyway. Just so that you see that I'm mixing them up even more and I didn't lay them out any particular way. And then each player draw five. Okay, so I'll just draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll pretend like I'm two people when I'm not two people. One, two, three, four, five. And then five. Okay. And then, let's see. Now they lay them face up in front of themselves. Okay, so now everybody can see your tiles. So that he and all other players may see just what triangles are in each hand. All right, so I'm just going to flash through this here because I won't be able to get through all the rules. But I want you to be able to read it. What if you have this game and don't have this little booklet? It would be near impossible to play the game. This might help somebody down the road. If this has helped you some point in the future as you're watching this video, then please let me know in the comments. Look, 13 pages drawing triangles. He must draw a try. Oh, oh, I see. So there's rules. Winner of the game. There's solitaire. So that means it looks like solitaire is a single player, right? We'll see. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, solitaire number one, solitaire number two. So there's two games of solitaire you could play. All right, there you go. So now you have the rules. Okay, so at this point, the person with the lowest... Total number combination goes first. So you would total up all the tiles, and the one that has the lowest combination, probably this one here, that's a nine. I don't think any of them have anything lower than a nine. Let's just assume that is the lowest one. 
So if the player with the lowest triangle plays it to the center of the table, thus starting the game, the lowest triangle is the one with the three numbers which add up to the lowest total. The lowest triangle in the game is the one having the figures one, two, three. So there's a one, two, three tile. I guess that would always win first. Play passes the left around the table. Only one trial may be played. Triangle may be played on each turn. The player must always play if possible. In the play of the game, each player tries to do two things: to get rid of his triangles as soon as possible, and by proper play of his triangles to obtain as high a score as possible. Each player must play his triangle to the triangle which has was last played by the other player. Okay, so you're not starting. You're not going from here. And then someone can start here. You have to go to the last tile, wherever it was placed. Uh, let's see. A player must play in one of two ways. He must always match color, but he has two choices regarding number. He can matching contact or counting contact. See, that's where it gets to be. All right. Matching contact. Matching contact. This is made by matching colors and numbers to an opposing side of the last triangle played. So here they show you an 8 to an 8, a 1 to a 1, a 10 to a 10. So now this player has to have a 4, a 2, and a blue. So there's a 2 and a blue. So this would be a valid move. Now my move cannot be a tile on there. I've got to go to the tile that was just played. Now I either have to have a 6 in red, which I do, so I can make this simple and just do that. Okay. And then now the next player doesn't have a 5 in blue or a three in the orange. Now counting contact, this is made by matching colors as above, but the numbers so adjoined must add to a multiple of five, as for example, five, 10, 15, or 20. Example. Okay, here's where I, it looks like three and two is five, right there. So that was their contact. So if this person has a five blue, right? Or a 7 in the orange, that would give him a 10. The accepted rule that all plays must be made to the triangle last play is as follows. The player who sees an opening, which will allow him to play a triangle to the figure on the table, so the two or three sides of this triangle are matching color, all the triangles which it touches, and so that turns. So it looks like you can fill them in. I think they show you later on. Here, where you're starting to fill in sections. So this person is putting a 10 and a 9 and a 1, it looks like, to make 10. But they're still keeping the colors the same. Ooh, how challenging. So I guess if you can't make either move, then you have to draw. Where was that? Drawing a tile. In the event that the player is unable to make any contact whatsoever and providing he has less than five triangles and he must draw a triangle. So that's where now your pile is going to change. And I've kind of lost track here, but maybe this guy can do this. If you think about it, that's a five, isn't it? Orange with a two. If that was his move, I don't know. I've lost track. But I think we get the idea. So, so a seven and a three would be a ten, right? And then you would keep going like that. Pretty perplexing, isn't it? Still an interesting looking game. So there, that is the game of contact. And of course, playing with other people would make it more challenging, but at least we've seen something. You've now seen a game from the 1930s. And tell me what you think of it in the comments. And if you want to see more, I've probably got three or four more older games like this style game in my collection. You know, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. If you want to see other board games, Parker Brother games, I'll have some playlists for you in the description area. And thanks for supporting the channel. Give the channel a thumbs up and sharing it on social media. That really helps. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.